Hello friends, both old and new. I am John St. Baptiste, and this is Music Makes the People Come Together, where we share amazing and eclectic music with amazing and eclectic people like yourselves. This is this week's playlist, and the playlists are always thematic, except when they're not, because this week we're doing Dealer's Choice. Therefore, the track of the week, which came up on Thursday, like it always does, was Whatever by Liam Lynch. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people really liked that song. I got some really cool responses to it, so I'm glad you all enjoyed that. It's a really fun song. I remember when it first came out, we used to always just jam out to it, because it was just good times. If you want to check out some curation about that, you can find it in the description down below. Speaking of which, if you just want to check out this week's music, also in the description down below. Uh, if you do go check that out before you watch the curation, please hit that like button on your way out. And when you come back, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Hit that notification bell so you know whenever something comes up. And please share it with a friend if you think they'd like it. So, we're going to go on to the rest of this week's playlist. The Better To Be Happy track this week. I always love this song, and I only had it on compilation discs, and they were usually made for me by people. And so I never found out who did it, but it's the track Going Crazy. And as I said, I do not know the artist, but it's some great, bleh, great late 1980s happy hardcore. And it's kind of getting to that transitional point from the 90s Happy Hardcore to 2000s Happy Hardcore. And it's just a really awesome track to listen to. Um, makes you want to dance. Most Happy Hardcore does. Hope you enjoy that. Now the full track for this week, which is always a full album, concert, or live set from a DJ... This week's full album. I had such a popular and big reaction last week to the fact that I put some Towns Van Zandt up. I put up one of his entire albums. Uh, this is his 1972 classic, The Late Great Towns Van Zandt, which was kind of foreboding and foreshadowing, but uh, it's an unbelievable album. He was so predominant in making work at the time he actually put out two albums that year so this is the second one that he put out and track number nine on this album if i needed you it touches the feels it's just a great wonderful track but this entire album's amazing so please listen to it and i've got the whole thing right there for you to check out uh the cover that kicks ass this week was sent to me by one of my subscribers. I think it was Amy True, I'm pretty sure, who is one of our panelists on the Cylon Johns, my other channel, um, which I'll tell you about in a bit. But this is Love Song by The Cure, done by Snake River Conspiracy. Now, I remember when they first came out, I actually, somewhere in my house, I have their demo. I, I have their demo on CD. And it's pretty sweet. It was a band formed by a number of members of other bands in the Bay Area. And this is a pretty cool cover. A lot of the covers of this track that I've heard, they're good, but they're a little sappy. This one's not really. It's, it's I, I think, quite well done. And I think that you'll enjoy it, and I hope you do. Uh, moving on, the Who's House, John's House track this week is Steve's Hobbes classic, Put Your House in Order. Uh, Steve Thomas, the DJ, not the guy who hosts on This Old House on PBS. It's a totally different Steve Thomas. That'd be cool as hell if it were the same guy, but they are two different Steve Thomases. Uh, this came out in 2000, just like I was talking about the earlier Better To Be Happy track. Uh, this is a house track that kind of defined that jumping off point between what was going on in the 1990s and what was going on in the 2000s because it was right there boom on the middle um and you can just you can see how house is changing 
and it's a really great track a little more mellow than a lot of the house i've been putting up lately but hey you gotta play it all over the place right oh going beyond that every uh six weeks we do a uh six week two tracks a week playlist of a certain genre of music if you have one you'd like me to check out please drop it in the comments down below because i do take suggestions from my different followers and i want to see what you want me to listen to and share and curate and learn about um and share with you because this is what we do i share music with you you share music with me we share music with each other and a good time is had by all so the current mix that we're doing is called standing on the shoulders of giants because it is all R&B made after 1980. And the first track is by the Novell Brothers, who actually did get together before 1980. They started in 77. But this track came out in 99 on their album Brothers Keeper. And it is an amazing cover of Bird on the Wire by Leonard Cohen, one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, and the, what's really cool is they're called the Nivelle Brothers, and they all really are brothers. Now, the Allman Brothers band weren't all really brothers. The Ramones weren't all really brothers. But the Nivelle Brothers band, they actually are. And this is just a really great cover of a really classic track. So many artists have done this, and there's so many great versions. And this was an R&B version that I heard that I just really, really dug. I will say I put the video on here. The outfits are quite dated, which is always going to be a little fun. It might take a little of the heaviness off of the track, but it's still going to be great to listen to and great to watch. And there's some pretty massive biceps going on there. That's all I've got to say. And the dangly cross earring doesn't hurt. So going on from that, the other track on that playlist for this week is classic this one has a warm spot in my heart no scrubs but tlc uh this is off their third album called fan mail um this band is known very much for their tumultuous relationships they all had with each other which is always kind of interesting when it happens in a band it can work one way or the other um in this case they were able to conglomerate and make some great music and this is a fun track I remember being like, I guess 1999, I would have been about tw 21. And my friends of I, friends and I would ride around stoned off of our asses in the car, like singing along with this. And like, yeah, it'd, it'd be great fun because everybody would take a different vocal part, but it was like four dudes with long hair. So uh, if you can picture that, that was, that was some good times. But, so that's the uh, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants tracks for this week. I hope you enjoy them, just like all the tracks I put up. And I always put up a bonus track, just because I love you folks so much. Uh, most of the time it's a piece of music, but this week what I put up is by a musician. This is by Henry Rollins, off of the uh, show Big Think. And it is him doing a monologue about discouragement and overcoming adversity. Um, I personally if had some discouraging things happen in my personal life lately and I came across this and you know it really kind of put some things into perspective for me and things can turn around and do turn around and it's just an awesome monologue it's like seven minutes and it's a great way I think to end the playlist please don't let anybody bring you down because you know there's something better in the future most likely and worse things could always happen so don't dwell on what's happening right now but seriously check it out it's some great awesome awesome stuff and it was a way i just wanted to end this playlist so that's this week's playlist that's my dealer's choice for this month i hope you really dig on and enjoy it uh we're gonna get to some trivia here last week's piece of trivia was answered very very quickly by the knight who smoked the laughing tree and the question was uh fats domino who was on the playlist last week what city was he from 
And who called Fats Domino the king of rock and roll? Now, he was from New Orleans. And the interesting story behind this, at Elvis Presley's first gig, the announcer called him the king of rock and roll. His first big gig. Um, and he said, and Fats Domino happened to be in the audience there. He said, no. Elvis said this. He said, no, that man over there, that's the king of rock and roll. So that's a pretty awesome piece of trivia and a really interesting anecdote. This week's piece of trivia, um, for anyone who's really excited about this current playlist of modern R&B coming up, um, two people came up with the concept for TLC. They were kind of a formulated band. Put out some great music. There are a lot of formulated bands that put out great music. I understand why they get a lot of the hate they do, but, you know, seriously, there's a lot of great stuff out there. So, who are these two persons? Um, obviously, just like every week, no cheating, no Wikipedia. This is testing your musical knowledge. If somebody can answer that, you'll get this week's smooch. You'll also get your own special track for the week. Uh, the Knight Who Smoked the Laughing Tree got his special tracks for the week and also got the smooch. So, I hope to be smooching one of you pretty soon. And also to give you your own special track. If you want to check any of those out, there's a playlist in the description down below called Prizes. And it's all the great things that I have shared with people just because they've taken the time to answer the trivia and had some great answers. So I hope you dig on that. We're going to get to the end here. I have to do a few shout outs. These are content creators who have always supported me, said things about me on their channels. And that means the world to me. I just want to return the favor. So, um, my good friend Mackenzie Alburns, who's also on the panel on the Cylon Johns, uh, Indie Geek, Dog Sidious, Al Red Sox fan, Alicia Kingston, my dear friend Lawrence Corner, who did a great Halloween switch with me. I read some poetry, and she put together a playlist. Definitely check that out. Um, Entertainment Hacker. And, of course, my co-host for Cylon Johns, Johnny B. Crazy. Uh, I keep mentioning Cylon Johns. I just want you to check it out. If you're into Battlestar Galactica, if you've watched it, it's great. We do breakdowns with a panel of first-time watchers. If you're a first-time watcher, go ahead and catch up and check some of these out because it's some... Just real fun, and we do complete spoiler-free go-through. So I hope you enjoy on checking that out. Uh, if I forgot to shout anybody out, I apologize. But yes, thank all of you, and thank everyone who came out here to check this out today. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you dig on the music. And if you would be so kind, P-L-U-R. And please, be excellent to one another, and party on. <laughs>